welcome back to the Amy Kardashian and the Expert Show where we bring some of the top experts in the world to help you transform your business and personal life. I am your host Amy Kardashian, not, not Kardashian. Kardashian, and I am your co-host Stephanie Thompson. I'm a classically trained singer-songwriter. Well, in this episode, we have our guest Jamie Lee Metz, and she's been telling us all about skincare. This is the third segment of four segments, and we've been talking about the neck situation yeah. and sunscreen <laughs> and everything. And I just would like to say, I don't know if you can feel it through the camera, but she has an aura about her, don't you think? Yeah, like just a healing aura. Healing, yeah. And then that's exactly how I felt when you yeah, were doing my you. facial. Absolutely. And I'm so glad I experienced it. But that's why you're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. That's very high I price. wanted to share mm -hmm. you with the world. Well, thank you. <laughs> and you know, Vegas is a, it's people come from all over. They, some people come from Dubai, from from uh, Canada, from Australia. Yeah. I mean, they can make an appointment with you to just experience that really nice um a, a gift that you have Thank you. and i know that you do you you do a lot of celebrities facials and all that and yeah. who else you well we do a lot of on camera um with celebrities okay um, both um you name it so um it's one of those things we we try to keep it to ourselves unless they yeah unless there's a few on our website that you can you can see and those see. are willing people that are willing to share sure but um, yeah because of what we do um, and the way that we do it and we like to make sure that people come out looking better than when they came in so Absolutely. it's a it's a it's really um, some of the treatments are, are perfect for that because they don't have time for the downtime mm -hmm. and or um, any kind of reactions ultimately Okay, so, yeah. so you have some treatment you, you were talking about, like the 10 minutes treatment. Mm -hmm. Like, re could you explain about, could you tell us about that more? Yes, um, we call it Dermaplane Diva, and it's a, a essentially like Diva. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Diva singing, <Yes>. right? <laughs> so um, <laughs> it's um, it's a treatment that is it's quick, it's cost effective, and it's very result orientated. And it's my favorite. It's my favorite because I can make a big difference in a very short amount of time. So they have to come to you, or they could just have the product. And do it in 10 minutes well it's it's Apply something it. that that we do and okay. it, it's in the way that we do it so oh. dermaplaning is um, it's not well known okay um, but it's been around for centuries so geishas mm. did it they didn't call it dermaplaning Marilyn Monroe was thought to do it Elizabeth oh. Taylor Wow it's been around it. then wow. it's not yeah. something new but well it's it's new it's in the sense that we're bringing it forward out. and in yeah. how we do it yeah ultimately. because I mean Marilyn Monroe have it back then, and people they couldn't get hold of the stuff before. Well, it was sort now of taboo it's more, because yeah. it's a form of it's a cosmetic exfoliation of the skin, oh. and what we're doing is not only it's it's um, it, it's it, microdermabrasion is like old now, so okay. it, you know people but they know that, mm -hmm. so it's it does what microdermabrasion did on steroids. So mm. what we're able to do is we're able to take off dead skin cells. We're able mm -hmm. to remove the vellus hair, which is known as the peach fuzz. Most women know it as the peach fuzz mm -hmm. that grows. And by removing that automatically, we're going to take 10 years off you. Because when you oh remove that gray ash. Can you do that for me? <laughs> yes, we already did it. <laughs> you know, I, I have people sometimes ask me, so, you, you know, you look good for your age. Mm -hmm. I, I say, well, but I take care of myself. I don't sit in the sun too much. And. I, I, you know, I used to smoke when I was young, but I don't smoke, I haven't been, you know, I don't drink, I don't smoke or, you know, all that. So I take, right. try to take care of myself in order to keep what I have a little bit, but we all need to keep, keep it up, right? Yes. And take care of ourselves. So let's talk a little bit about the sun. What's yes. the difference between me and Stephanie's skin? Well, so here's how we classify skin uh, types Type. or color. Mm -hmm. We call it Fitzpatrick, or I call it the Fitzpatrick family, which is a little bit misleading. So, because um, it's not a family, okay. <laughs> but it's what separates um, each one of us, and okay. it has to do with. Uh, initially, it had to do with adaption. So, when we lived in and or closer to the equator, as is the world was coming up and people were populating the world, then we had skin that more fit that climate. So. We had darker skin, okay. so we had a natural built-in, what they call melanin, sunblock, okay. and we could tolerate the skin better. We also, those types of, um, those types of uh, people of color also have more 
pores per square inch. They have more sweat Get glands protected. and they have less oh. hair. So that oh. keeps them cool. So cooler. hey, my skin is better than your skin. <laughs> okay. You're definitely going to look <laughs> typically younger and longer if you're doing all the right things. Okay. Like you said, oh. staying out of the sun, okay. not smoking. But I love your skin. Thank so, you. you know, I want your skin and then, but there is some always good side of Yeah, something. I have to work harder at it though. Yeah, okay. So I have to stay out of the sun. I'm like a vampire. When okay. I go to the beach, I'm, You're I'm like fully covered fully and I have covered. sunblock and a hat and, and all of that. Okay. And so for uh, Stephanie, she's got lighter skin. Her yes. skin actually is going to reflect the sun more. So we're from more of a Nordic uh, sort of a climate, if you will. Okay. That being said, we don't need to have as much melanin in the skin because typically we needed to be able to absorb that vitamin D more on a oh. regular basis than somebody that was getting it closer to the equator. That's right? what I'm talking oh. information here, you see? That's interesting. Yeah. It, it, because other, somebody else will come and just, because you're darker, you could handle the sun more or, and this and that, but you're explaining things more detail and mm -hmm. you're really explaining something that not everybody knows about and mm -hmm. think about mm -hmm. why but God and did it you know he like made why? us the way we are to yeah. suit the environments that we're in nice. and there's there's one of one of my favorite exceptions is when you look at the Inuit people in Alaska for example mm -hmm. so they're in cold climates which would normally be our you. climate yeah. right sure, if, if we sure. were to never had to have moved and, right. and we you know there weren't planes and trains and automobiles yeah, right right so so they're in these cold climates and yet they have skin similar to somebody closer to the equator and the reason for that is the snow and the ice all in the water all reflects, reflects it, it back mm. into their faces so they have more melanin to oh. survive the climate mm -hmm. and okay. um, and and kind of like they adapt to it exactly right yes. we end up adapting to where yeah. we are we, right? have, we have fewer uh, sweat glands we don't need them we need to stay warmer oh, okay. and if we had more sweat glands we would be um, colder, colder in those types of climates oh. where are closer to the equator they have more they need to stay cooler okay so now mm -hmm. let me ask you this question S since mm -hmm. we're talking about different type of skin yeah. is there any different type of skin uh, like a, a, a sun uh, sun care like a different type that we need or could work for both of us well th there are things that will work for both however okay there's there is a difference so chemical sunblocks um, and you always want to look for something called broad spectrum and what that means is it covers UVA okay UVB and even UVC that most people don't even know about which is a hole in the ozone so say the name again so broad spectrum broad sp Spectrum. spectrum and if it doesn't say broad spectrum don't even buy it it's oh. it, and, and these days it it's legally everything. no it doesn't protect you it gives you the there idea you of protection but you don't really have it mm -hmm. so uh, with a broad spectrum you want a oh. minimum of 15 I would say in Las Vegas you want a minimum of 30 and what those numbers mean is your skin if you were to go out just as you are, I were to go out just as I am yeah. right now with no block on if okay. I'm putting on a 30 SPF that means I can stay out in the sun 30 times longer then than I could have without it. Does okay. that make sense? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So wow. a 15, I can stay out 15, 15 times, times longer, longer than I could have without, without it. Without it. Yeah. Wow. You see, this this information is amazing. When we come back, we're going to be talking about more about men. Yes. Mm -hmm. How's that sound? Hey, okay. ladies, we take care of ourselves. And if you're a man here, you want to hear this. And if you're a lady, you want to make sure to take care of your husband like he take care of you or your loved ones, right? Yes. Okay, absolutely. we'll be right back. How many times have you promised to make a change in your life, but you felt stuck, confused, and frustrated? Now there is hope for you to make a change and live your dreams. You will get help and the opportunity to learn from some of the top experts in the world. We get into the technical aspect. Because you have someone's email address, you go on and determine And they what. do not expect us to just be okay with each other. For less than two cups of gourmet coffee a month. This platform was built by someone who was stuck, confused, frustrated, and had no hope. Having only a fourth grade education, severe dyslexia, and English as her third language. Her name is Amy Kardashian, and today she is living her dream. Amy and the experts are here to help you live yours. Start making a massive shift in your business and personal life now. Visit akandtheexperts.com and get your 14-day free access with absolutely no obligation to you.